If you work in the architecture, engineering and construction industries, then you may well have heard the term scan to BIM. But what does this actually mean? When people say scan to BIM, they're referring to the process of 3D laser scanning a physical space or site to create an accurate digital representation of it. That representation can then be used for designing, assessing progress or evaluating options. Now, when I first heard that, I was feeling about as confused as you are now. So here's a step-by-step -step explanation of how the process works and the benefits it can bring. Firstly, it's important to determine why you wish to create a digital representation of a space and to be clear about what you will use that data for. If the team you commissioned to undertake your survey know what it needs to be relied upon for, they can ensure you receive a scan that best meets your needs. In this example, we've commissioned a scan of a heritage building, the beautiful St James's Church in the heart of London. The scanning process can in theory be undertaken by just one person, though this is dependent on your site and the outcome of a thorough risk assessment. Using a standard tripod, a 3D laser scanner is attached. Scanners like the Trimble TX8, demonstrated here, come in easily portable cases and weigh around 11 kilograms. Before a scan commences, some key parameters need to be entered into the scanner's touchscreen interface, but we'll explain more about these a little later on. To capture a digital representation of a space, a laser within the scanner case rotates at high speed. As the invisible laser beam hits various objects or materials, their position relative to the scanner and to other elements of your site or building is recorded as a piece of digital data. This is known as a point. When several of these points are collected, they begin to build a highly accurate three-dimensional digital picture of the space or site being scanned. A large collection of these points is commonly referred to as a point cloud. Now, it might sound obvious, but the more points you collect, the greater the accuracy of your scan. This is commonly referred to as a scan's resolution. There will be times when you need the highest possible scan resolution, but this isn't always necessary and it comes back to determining what you want to use the scan data for right from the outset. The scanner automatically rotates during the scan process to capture the area being scanned. It may perform a complete 360 degree rotation or a lesser turn depending on the data to be captured. The Trimble TX8 can capture points up to 340 meters away with its extended range. The scan area and your desired resolution are all entered as part of that parameter data we mentioned earlier on. To give you some idea of the magnitude of data collected during a typical 3D laser scan, the Trimble TX8 collects data on 1 million unique points every second. That's around 300 million points during a 5 minute scan. 3D laser scanning removes a large degree of human error from the surveying process and enables significantly higher volumes of data to be collected over a considerably shorter period of time. This means that survey information can be relayed to project teams faster. It also enables surveyors to undertake more scans than they could have done previously. The lasers used within 3D scanners are of no risk to people or animals and cannot materially affect or damage a building's fabric. This is a particularly important consideration when working with heritage schemes like this one. A high-resolution camera on the front of the Trimble TX8 scanner captures images of the scan area simultaneously to the laser scan. This enables the scan data to be colorized at a later stage, creating a realistic render. The laser beam emitted by the scanner can only travel in a straight line from the spot where the scanner is positioned. Therefore, to build a complete digital representation of a site or building, multiple scans will need to be undertaken from a variety of locations ensuring complete coverage of the space. This is another reason why it's important to determine the objectives of your laser scan from the outset. You don't want to scan more areas than are necessary. So that's the scanning part, but how do you bring that digital data that you've collected out in the field back into the office for use by a project team, potentially in a building information modeling or BIM environment? With your scan complete, the data captured can be taken out of the scanner on a simple USB drive like the one shown here. You can then insert that into a standard USB port on your computer device. 
What happens next depends to an extent on the scanning hardware you used. But for most scanners, you will need to open the raw scan data in a software program that calibrates it before it is ready for sharing with others, or for importing into design authoring programs, or into your project's common data environment. Having scanned with the TX8 in this example, we've imported our scan into Trimble RealWorks, a powerful software tool that enables you to register, analyze, and model from your scan. The platform has a free browser-based viewer, enabling your wider project team to see and navigate around your scan. The process of importing and calibrating raw scan data before it is ready for use by a project team is quite specialist, and it's advisable to commission your surveyor or a qualified party to undertake this process. We're showing you the step here to better explain how the complete process works. Having a highly accurate three-dimensional digital representation of your building or site available in record time is very powerful. You're now more informed to develop your design proposals, scope out your works, or to verify the progress of works to date. Those engaged with asset management quickly have a digital picture of their existing stock to hand. Beyond the construction industry, 3D laser scanning has many other applications, including for example in forensics, where it is used to quickly and accurately document crime and accident scenes before such areas are reopened to traffic or the public. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.